more from Kamala Harris. She has chosen her vice president. Mr. It was more forceful than I thought it was going to be. Marxist lover. Mr. Marxist. So it's uh, Tim Walls, the governor of Minnesota. Tim Walls. Now, Ain't let's have a look at his career. Now, a lot of these things you're going to have heard before because we've actually talked about him several times on this podcast, but I guarantee you've forgotten. So you're going to hear some of these and be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. That, good thing. that freaking guy. So let's talk about Tim, Tim Walls. And his furniture obsession. <laughs> Yes. For legal reasons, this is a joke. So the career of Tim Walls, as a politician, anyway, he became vice president of Minnesota, and, you know, the Twin Cities, never, never. before he showed up, the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, and St. Paul, actually used to be among the safest cities in America, and enjoyed a lot of tourism. Oh. And this is saying a lot, because cities are generally not very safe, and definitely not American cities. No. So it's like, you know, as safe as an American city can get, I guess. Anywhere in America you're going to be safer than you know, most other places, but... Yeah, safer than England, but that's uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a later like... story. Yeah. Uh, but now that Tim Walls has led in a mass influx of Somalis, the Twin Cities are now among the most dangerous and crime-ridden oh. cities in America. <laughs> like, they are literally on the opposite end of the spectrum. In just a few years' time, they jumped. I mean, this... This state has been flipped upside down, completely changed, opposite opposite end. Correlation does not equal causation, all right, Jaden? Come on. The Somalis are just coincidentally having the crime rise. Or not. Wait. Yes. <laughs> I said that wrong, but you get my point. I hear you. So Walls, had then of course, it. after letting them all in, incentivization. He didn't just fail to do his duty and uphold the law and deport the illegals, but then he incentivized their presence. And he oh, provided them God. with taxpayer-funded health care, driver's licenses, Yo. and college tuition. I'm not calling it college for... tuition. I know, ridiculous. Like that's a need. And uh, so dumb. Yeah, I mean the 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 media is calling it free, but I'm not going to call it free. It's taxpayer funded. It's free to them. It's called leeching. Leeching. Yeah, that's more accurate. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so it's crazy. They're coming it's... in and they're just leeching off. Could the you imagine being a resident of Minnesota and be like, "Oh man, I could have I could have a fiscal fiscal assistance with my you know medical bills and and my other needs but in, in instead some random bunch of people who are not citizens yeah. get all of my money and the the care they're in like that that's not fair that's that's not prioritizing the people Dude, that's just socialism bro like he swore well it is yes but he I mean he swore to be on the side of the people of Minnesota and he's doing the exact opposite oh my gosh I'm dying but in 2020 he allowed rioters to burn no! half of Minneapolis oh, if you remember the photographs you remember whole like literal like in, not just business like buildings and businesses but like entire streets just up in flame like it was the bloody chicago fire you know the the pictures of those super targets you know picked clean filled with with smoke and broken glass like this is that's walls america oh shoot that's what he did for minnesota and then once of course they had ban they had burned half of minneapolis to the ground 
Then Kamala raised the funds to pay for their bail. They worked together to get Magna. these people out on the street. These mm, nice. insane arsonists. Just put them back out there. It'll be fine. It'll be safe. They're not going to stop, and they won't stop. Yeah, they shouldn't stop. I'm burdened by what has been and what will be. Like, that is not in the best interest of laugh. your citizens at all. Maniacal laugh, maniacal laugh. Dude, she's got a maniacal laugh. Like, <laughs> it's true. She it's, does. It's, so, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like that. It's very, <laughs> very unsettling. She's so like a, like an evil Muppet. Doesn't sound natural at all. No, it's like the it's one of the least genuine laughs I have ever heard. Like not convincing yeah. at all. I think that's what makes it slightly later. slightly scary. It's like uncanny. Laugh. That, yeah, it's just so ingenuine. Like a witch cackle. No. So they'll be a perfect pair. Old Waltz and. Kamala. Kamala. Dude, she picked, she picked Kamala. Waltz over Mr. Ben, or not Ben Shapiro, uh, other Shapiro. Josh, Josh Shapiro. Josh Shapiro. He was really, really, really butthurt about that one. <laughs> I have no gun. Yeah, definitely it had nothing to do with him being a juice. I think it definitely had something to do with that. <laughs> yeah, I know it did. I can't and also remember. she's like, her views are very extreme. I would, so, I would look it up no! if I could, but I can't. I think Shapiro is a little bit more moderate than Waltz, so it's the Waltz. So, also in 2020, just to make that summer of love even worse for everyone else, for the, you know, law-abiding folk, he set up a snitch hotline so people could report each other for violating the COVID curfew. The penalty of which was jail time. But anyway, yeah, I, I, much. I think it's funny that he did this because, of course, his whole thing is just is be a good neighbor and mind your own business. Like, that was his whole speech at the DNC, was just be a good neighbor. Like, he, he kept saying that over and over, like he's freaking Mr. Rogers. Just be a good neighbor to people. It'll be good. Mind your own Just be quiet. Mind your own business. And it's like, dude, that is business. the opposite of your policy. What? You, you commie. He is yeah. communist. Don't like, don't worry about other it. people getting hurt. Don't worry about evil people hurting other he's people. Doing, don't, he, mind your he's own doing business. Very commi communist things in his seat right now, like throughout his career. Very communistic tendencies. It's not good. Yeah, better dead than red. Pretty much. Yeah, terrible ideology. And the people the people he surrounds himself with. Remember um Ilan Omar? Ilhan before she got before she got fired by some other people by the court or whatever. Remember how she was yeah. like America will bend the knee to Somalia. <laughs> yeah. They will, they must. I remember Let's that. Go. And then he had a he had another okay. person on his staff who was saying a similar thing, although she didn't get fired. She's still with him. And remember remember when he changed the state flag of Minnesota to closely resemble a flag of a Somalian state? Yeah. <laughs> remember that? Dude, yeah. why is he like what the hell, dude? Bastard. Like he's Somalia is not a good place. Why is like, he the governor of Somalia? What's going on here? Why is he putting them all in office? Letting them flood the state, giving giving them all the free things he can. He's Somalian. I, he's definitely not. But so this this is the worst thing about Tim Walls. The absolute worst thing. He we did it. repealed the Born Alive Infants Protection Act so that he could legalize post birth abortion. Whoa. Murder. Murder, Murder, yes. So he went Murder. into office deliberately so that once a baby comes out of the womb, breathing, scope it. Just 360 no scope. Screaming. Right in the dome. What? Writhing. What are you talking about, Micah? Put it in the montage. 
Right? The beat good of there. life. Do Call of Duty montage. Alive within. <laughs> and then he's he's just gonna smush that child. I will kill. They drown him in these any, little tubes. They they drown him, or if if they're alive and they haven't come come out quite yet, they'll stick a little stick a little. Uh, 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 what do you kind of you put the forceps in there, and then you you kind of you know you kind of swirl it around, and then you and then you pull it out piece by piece, all the little bloody you a, limbs. You get an egg beater. Just make it interesting. It's, I mean, that's kind of the concept. In England, they've got, um, they've, yeah, that they've, is they've got these blenders. So we've probably got them here, but I don't know. Uh, they actually got blenders, bro. They beat me to it. Yeah, man. Join the game. Bro, I can't. Like they, Dude, like that, Planned oh, Parenthood, literally has like five I different could, ways. I could, I could that no. they can kill a newborn. Well, that's why. <laughs> yep. it, it's insane. And this this really grinds my gears. Because it's like... You know, we can argue about abortion all day. And we can argue about, oh, when do you become alive? When do you become conscious? When... Nice you know, you. And we could go, oh, when you feel things. Or when you have a heartbeat. Or it's... You know, the, or memories. from the start, or from this, or this, or you know, you can have a when million I can, arguments. When I, when I can form long-term memories. But no matter who you I. are, you can agree that that like a baby is alive and killing it is is murder. I mean, it's out and about. It's doing things. I mean, is it though? Like, it's just sitting yeah, there. Yes, yeah, it's murder even even before it leaves the womb. You can, it's, you know, like it's what the hell, that. dude? You can, you can even, and I got experience in this. You can, like, even before the body is formed, you can see a heartbeat. Because when I was like... handling my reptile's egg, I think it was at one week. There, you can't see like a body, but you can see yeah. the embryo and you can see it pulsing. Ooh! You can see Damn. the like the veins in the egg and the blood vessels like moving. Like it's alive in that egg, even though there's not a fully formed body. So yes, it's murder. The spark of life, murder. even spark before life. it, even before it's born, it's it's murder. No, I think that eggshell. Like, you can look anywhere in nature, and you can see it. Like I had it. physically an, an egg in my hands, and I could see that I was alive. No, I think the eggshell just had a uh, had a uh, parasite in it. See, it, oh, it's okay. It's, well, I mean, yes, but it was alive. It's unequivocal. And it had. It's un. It's unequivocal. And it and it pisses yes, me off because there's literally people destroying newborn babies in this country. They're being murdered, and everyone's like, uh, uh, "JD Vance f the couch." Like that's not our biggest problem right now, guys. It's not friggin' Palestine. It's not Israel. It's not Ukraine. It's not Trump. It's I not. Can't stand. Over it's not even the economy. It's, it's acts. not oh, gay pride. It's it's nothing. They, when you're squashing they, like, little babies, yeah. that's the biggest problem. Comes out kicking and screaming, and you're like, chop chop. It it doesn't get worse than that, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get uh, worse than still, that. They're still. They're still relying on uh, other things, so they're not really alive. They're uh, they're dependent. They're they're not independent yet, so like, you kill them. Right. I guess yeah. we'll kill disabled well, people too. Micah, then. Micah, we're gonna kill you. <laughs> You're not independent yet. <laughs> oh, <this> <laughs> <is> damn. <laughs> no, no, no. Micah oh, no, no, no. may be alive, but you have sniped him. Yes, uh, Micah, you should be lucky you're not. In, you don't live in Minnesota because he might have uh, pushed it to uh, death at uh, 25 years. Tim, Tim Walls goes up to the podium. Uh, we need I to kill. We need to kill Micah. Year, 
late term i i we are going to allow <laughs> no. 25 year late term abortion <laughs> he, him no. to put him he goes he goes down to the inner city <laughs> and he's like you are now allowed to kill micah and there's just <laughs> hordes of people like ah that racist we're gonna get him i was told he said the n-word i can't prove it i'll say it <laughs> say <it right> <laughs> Don't say it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. no. Wig. Don't do it, Joker. No, 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 no. Why would no, you? No, no, wait, 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 wait. I just, yeah, they don't have any leg to stand on when they're like more morally criticizing somebody for sexually questionable acts when they have gay pride parades and trans people in the office being really weird and stealing luggage and just like I. D <sighs> There's... <laughs> yeah, I know they they, uh, they have they have politicians praising the San Francisco piss pool that children witnessed, and they're like, "Oh, but I couldn't possibly yeah. vote for a vote for yeah. a man who who jacked off on a couch." It's, That's it's definitely the, the worst thing I can think of. But did you see the curves on that ladder? <laughs> yeah. It's looking pretty inviting. <laughs> it's a good coach. Bro. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so basically, uh, Tim Walls Here. is evil. You guys um, gonna let me die? Yep. I'm, say, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not being hyperbolic here. Like, really. This guy oh, is, not in game. is evil. He could, he's, he has done basically all the worst things you can do to a state. Yeah, he I'm has failed his sure. people. He, you know, has committed treason in my eyes. Pretty sure he also signed an executive, uh, is it executive law or something like that, where uh, minors could get. What was it? It was minors could get. Uh, oh, uh, transition yes. care or something. Yes. Basically, like they're calling it transition. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you for bringing that up. I forgot that. And he yeah. he he did a mandate for um, tampons in the boys' restrooms and schools. What you do There's know what no boys way. are gonna do with the tampons, right? Yeah, that is the worst decision. You're just gonna mess with them. They're not like, dude, you just wasted tampons. Just more weight. Like little kids are gonna be like, "Oh, what's this?" And see, it soaks things up, and they're just gonna mess with it. Yeah. I mean, no one's gonna actually use those. All right, they're just it's like you idiots. <laughs> yeah. So, the guy who's gonna protect democracy signed executive order to basically chemically castrate children in his city or his town or whatever. Ah, uh, so. yeah. Dem that's democracy, yeah. baby. <laughs> no passing laws. No yeah, nothing. baby. Just, all right. Time to. You know that thing we do to off. sex offenders? Pfft, you could do it to your kids, and they make the decision. Uh, yeah. Even though. And if well, if you say if totally if you're concerned. the parent and you say something against it, jail for you, bud. I'm gonna put you in jail. I don't know how he's still in office. I'm it's coming. Crazy. People of Minnesota should be seeing themselves. Right? Oh my Very goodness. Uh, well, I mean, I feel sorry for some of the Minnesotans. I mean, I mean, Minnesota used to be such, such a quiet and such a normal place. You know, like in Minnesota. like in all the movies, it, it just weird. it just has this reputation. For being this place where nothing happens and everyone's just very nice. Yeah, oh, you know, just very laid back. Like, oh, yeah, no, you know. Back. They're like Canadian, but American. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think... I think that that actually does have something to do with it, the fact that they're up there. Yeah, I think it's that's probably what it is. Generally, yeah. So, I mean, I feel bad for Minnesota. Just probably, I mean, I, you know, I'm not... I, I couldn't I couldn't speak to this, this, but I could I could imagine that their culture has has changed a lot and a lot of it's been 
getting getting Let's killed decide. out, right? Like people de- people deny that America has a culture, which is funny because it's so far from true. But also that like we're so big that we have all these micro cultures. Dude, America exports culture. I mean, uh, for the past, the like, micro culture thing is too to an extent. Yeah, no, we definitely do. We have a lot yeah, we have of microcultures. State different, like a yeah, lot. The state culture than the yeah, but the thing about those cultures. microcultures is that they're all like, at the end of the day, pretty similar and American. I mean, yeah, they're all unequivocally American. I'm just yeah. saying it makes it more true because even on a small st- scale, we still have some distinct differences going on. You know, like your Virginia Southern and your Texas Southern. Still Southern in every sense of the word, but, yeah, pretty different. And I think that just makes it more interesting. That's a flavor. So it's sad to be like, okay, (laughs) Minnesota is now a Somalian communist state. (laughs) And these, you know, very normal Americans are just having their lives wrecked over this just absurdly and almost comically Ah, evil man I can't get a break like yikes that would suck move to Wisconsin (laughs) that's my suggestion get out of there but yeah most people do not know who Tim Walls is or who he's or you know what he's done so i wanted to a bad man i wanted to sum it up and just wreck the fool there you go there's my expose on tim walls i hope we don't have to talk about a, um, the term like, you know doesn't necessarily apply to this but a draft dodger oh yes Ooh. i did forget that his stolen valor thing or he <laughs> lied about his military top, service on top of all this He's got stolen valor. Oh yeah, basically, God. um, everybody, uh, got, you know, drafted to Iraq, and he quit right when they were gonna do that. Yeah, he, yeah, he abandoned his team. He quit right before their deployment. So yeah, the Minnesota National Guard confirmed that he did, in fact, commit stolen valor and lie about his rank and leave his, uh, you know... Uh, people, like right before they were gonna, you know, go out. Yeah, and I. So, wait, so he quit. Yeah, he then, quit right before like people. But then were he was shaming. Out. But then yeah, he was and then he, that he, uh, And while they were suffering in Iraq, yeah. he was in Italy, dude, living yeah, it up. Dude. Man, that yeah. is lied about his rank. Right, dude, lied he's really about living out the socialism. So yeah, stolen valor. Like, really, what the hell? And it's funny. Be. There was some general who did some Dumb sort bag. of some. Now Biden was a literal draft dodger. Some kind <laughs> of uh, I don't know. Like like he was, he was like, oh no, he had an excellent military career and everyone liked him and all the, you know, all all you know his all the soldiers stand with him and he was so good and I, I literally keep running into tweets. From uh, different soldiers from that group who are super sore about it. <laughs> like I've seen about it. I've seen about a dozen of them now. Feeling like, yeah, here's a picture of me in Iraq. You know, my my buddy got blown up, and he this guy. You know, walls abandoned us. Dude, that is insane. But yeah, he'll be great for America. Dude, I love the public servant who didn't serve as. Public duties. Wait, it's crazy. Well, there it is. Yeah, public coward. I would also point out. No, I, 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 f- I forgot to say this earlier when we were talking about Kamala, but I think it's funny that that she and Walls are apparently going to save the world and save democracy and do all the good things. You know, all the things yeah. she hasn't done. She's been vice president for three and a half years and hasn't done anything. <laughs> But yet, hey, she, but yet we're supposed to vote for her and expect results. Dude, she was the border czar, and she did a gr- great... Uh, the oh, buddy okay. border uh, czar? <laughs> the border czar. 
She was assigned the border czar, and not in that term, but that <laughs> that job. Right. She was specifically she was put in charge, in charge of, of it, and she never yeah. even visited. And she, failed. she failed barely, really bad. <laughs> one job, one job. Come on. I, I I don't know what she was doing, just sitting around in the White House with her finger up her butt. I guess. Oh. Ooh. I mean, really, she's just done absolutely nothing. No, that's lore accurate, considering the past. Yep. That's what she does. All right, so the Olympics. 